protecting tracks by using the toggle sync lock in the toggle track lock buttons. So over here in my timeline, I have a clip on V1 and a second clip on V1. Then I put just the video clip on V2. It doesn't have the audio with it. Now I have my timeline in the middle of these clips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come onto my V2 track over here and I'm going to click on this uh, toggle sync lock button and it gets deactivated. Next I'm going to come up here in my source. I'm going to pick just on the video only and I'm going to hold down the control key. I'm going to hold down the control key. I'm going to bring it down here and I'm going to place this uh, on V1. So I'm going to place this video only right here on V1. I'm going to let go. You see this this video, just the video, and there's no audio with it because I just did the video only, got placed in here, but it did not affect the V2 track. So it shifted everything over, but it did not shift the V2 track. Okay. So this, I'm protecting this track by turning, deactivating the toggle sync lock. Now, I could lock a track. So I have a little lock button here on V1. I could lock that. Notice it puts these diagonal lines through this. Okay, at this point, there's nothing I can do. This track is locked down and you cannot perform any actions on that track. Okay, so as long as you feel you're happy with that, you can do that. So we can protect a uh, track with the lock and we can toggle the track lock buttons. Um, so uh, two different things. So uh, these are sync them up. In other words, when we bring in a video and an audio, they get synced together. So we're essentially turning these on and off. Okay. And then we can lock any track that we want with the lock. And we can just unlock it. And now we can edit that thing. So protecting tracks using the toggle sync lock and the toggle track lock buttons.